Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we're told that suppose the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to infinity and the limit as x approaches a of g of x equals c, where c is a real number, we're asked to prove each statement. So in a, we have that the limit as x approaches a of f of x plus g of x, the limit of this is equal to infinity. Right? And we're going to do this using the limit laws, which states that this is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x. This is equal to this plus the limit as x approaches a of g of x. Right? The limit as x approaches a of f of x is infinity. The limit as x approaches a of g of x is c. So this is infinity plus c, which is just infinity. In part b and c, we have the limit as x approaches a of f of x times g of x, right? And we know from the limit laws that this is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x times the limit as x approaches a of g of x. This is equal, therefore, to the limit times f as x approaches a of f of x, which is infinity, times the limit as x approaches a of g of x, which is c. Therefore, this is infinity times c, which is infinity, right? because multiplying infinity by a number, it's not going to change the magnitude of infinity. However, we have to consider one thing. A positive number times a positive number is positive. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. Negative times negative is positive. So infinity here is positive, so we're restricted to here. If infinity is positive, which we know it is, and c is positive, which we know it is in b, then the result is positive, so it's positive infinity. Meanwhile, in C, we have the limit as x approaches a of f of x times g of x, except C is less than zero, so this is the same. We split it up using the limit laws, right? And we still get infinity times C. However, in this case, infinity is positive and C is negative, therefore the result is negative, it's negative infinity. So therefore, we prove that it's equal to infinity, infinity, and negative infinity for the following limits as x approaches a for f of x and g of x.